hello beautiful people and welcome back to another weekly vlog today's monday and um i'm super excited to share um my week with you guys especially because we have some new furniture coming in uh tomorrow and i'm just super excited because it's, it took me a while to decide on what i want the furniture to be in this space so last weekend we sold our old um table that we've had i think since we've been in watertown since we moved to watertown um that was a table that we've been using it's still in really good condition um so we got the chairs and the table sold pretty quickly facebook market always you know comes in clutch we also have some more furniture that we want to get um out of the house but that's uh for downstairs um i don't really share downstairs because that's like my husband's like man cave and that's his space so um yeah but i'm trying to get the pieces sold um hopefully by the end of this week we should have that out we already have like a new like couch situation downstairs um but yeah super super excited about that so i'm gonna share how the space looks currently um it's very empty very open and i think i want to make some other changes so yeah let me just show you all right so this is how the space currently looks it's so open it's so big it's so beautiful so we're gonna have a table here it's a round table this time i really wanted to um make a really good decision on a table i didn't just want to buy any table i knew exactly what i wanted in fact at the top at the top of the year i uh, shared my luxury wish list and uh, there was a specific table that I wanted from CB2. I actually went in person, saw it, really, really, really did love it, but I had to think a little bit more uh, with respect to like how it's going to be used and I use everything that I purchase and uh, everything. It's, it's not for display and so I had in mind I wanted that white concrete um table i forgot the name of it but it's concrete and it's white and i felt like it would get stained pretty easily because i mean you know mess my 14 year old son like this is where he usually comes to eat um so i just didn't want to take the chance to be annoyed about you know a table getting dirty when you know the purpose of the table is to eat on it so um then I decided I wanted the black version of that. But then I was like, I don't know if I want a concrete table. So I changed my mind about it and I found a wooden table. Actually, my husband liked this table. And so when, sorry guys, I'm making breakfast. <laughs> um, when I saw the table, I was like, oh, this might be a better option. Actually, it's wooden, it'll last longer. Um, yes, you know, you worry about chips, but you know, chips are easily, I guess, fixable as opposed to like a concrete, like, I guess concrete can be fixed too, but I just didn't want to deal with concrete over there because of the coffee table that I got. Um, but anyways, that's another story for another time. This is the space. Uh, this is how it looks and... I will probably change uh, the rug out for a round rug. That'll come up eventually. I'll probably, I'll probably sell this rug as well or maybe take it downstairs and like repurpose it. So I thought about taking this rug up into my uh, closet, but I, didn't, I don't want the tones. I'm going for luxury in my room, so. I want something very specific so this wouldn't work i actually took it upstairs already to see how it will look and it doesn't it doesn't go so yeah i'm now about to have breakfast i made me some chai latte and i'm having that i'm also having um don't judge me but this is like an egg white spinach but but tata i think and i'm gonna have that with uh pita bread a pita pocket bread so that will be my breakfast and um yeah oh my god <laughs> i started the video without addressing the elephant in 
the room, which is my hair. Um, so I got it done this weekend and I, I decided to change the color. Now I've been debating on going blonde the very first time I cut my hair, which was last year. Um, I wanted to go platinum blonde, but I just knew I wasn't going to be able to maintain it and um i'll probably get fed up quite quickly so i was like you know what let me go and try some highlights so the highlights are still growing on me uh this is supposed to be like an ash blonde situation now it's just focused on this area even though you see on the side it's just because of the length of my hair on the side so if I pull it up that way, it wouldn't be, you know, that much going on. But it's supposed to be like an ash blonde. Yesterday, my hair looked a little bit better. Actually, I like, I prefer second day hair anyway. So I like this one. I don't like when the curls are like curly. <laughs> um, so this works for me. I like it when it's like flat and it looks like you didn't do too much to it but i'm not sure if i like the amount of highlights so i don't know i think i may go back in and just add some low lights in there so that it doesn't look too i don't know i don't know it's still going on me so um i did it myself you guys don't know but i used to work not as a hairdresser um I used to work in a hair salon many, many years ago, and I learned a lot. So back then, I was working part-time, and I was just basically, um, the lady I was working for, she had a hair school at night, so, well, hair and nail school, so she taught everything, and um, I'm forever grateful for that experience because it showed me so much um and for for those of you who don't know i actually wanted to be a hairstylist um a very long time ago and i did hair um hair extensions um when i was back home and for a bit when i was in the virgin Islands. so that was like my little side hustle then for as long as i known myself i've always had some type of side hustle the girl's always grinding and that brought me in a lot of money i just fell out of love for it i still you know can do it i can do it on people but i just i don't know what's going on i just my life has just been ascending and i just really couldn't couldn't keep up with and especially because we've that we've moved like so much that i just kind of just fell out of love with trying to put myself out there to gain clients and you know all that stuff uh, but it's something that I am really good at and I don't know I should probably think about actually getting certified I don't know well I don't know but yeah so I really like how the hair turned out it's growing on me I'm not sure if I'll <laughs> I'll keep it uh, but for now this is what it is and um, yeah I used I used, I went to Sally's and I picked up just a packet because I knew I didn't want to do my whole head. I actually didn't use all of the packet. I used, um, I forgot the name of the brand. But I just mixed that with some 30 developer. And then after, I did the bleach twice. So the first time I applied the, so the first time I applied the bleach to my hair, I, I let it stay on for about 15 minutes. And then the second time I did it, I let it stay on for 10 minutes. And then I toned it for, I think, 10 minutes with um, the Wella toner in T18. That's the only toner I use on my hair. That goes well with my complexion, I believe. Toning is very important because it helps, you know, bring down the brassiness. And it helps not necessarily deposit color, but it just helps to, like, tone down the brassiness. I'm not a professional, but that's just what I think I know. Um, but, yeah. I am going to have breakfast now and um, I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. Also, next week is going to be kind of busy, so I'm not sure how much I'll vlog. Um, my 
mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, my husband's um, mom and sister, they're visiting for a while. And um, yeah, so I'll be in the process of trying to get the house. I mean, the house is what it is. Um, the table that I'm adding is something that I was already planning on doing. It's just, you know, time in. Yeah, I gotta go do a little bit of shopping, get some new linen um, for my room and for my son's room. So yeah, this is my Monday, guys. Nothing too crazy going on. I'm expecting an order from Amazon. I bought some new workout pieces. <laughs> I also got another really, really cool item from Amazon uh, just yesterday. Let me show you guys. All right, so I got this cool little gadget. It's supposed to remove like piling, you know, like on sweaters and furniture. And I used it yesterday and I'm, <laughs> I'm in love. to get like a nice little vase I am definitely going to change out the rug because this um this doesn't go <laughs> I need something circular and yeah I thought it was actually like black but it's more like a as you can see like a dark oak color which I think this is much more timeless than the concrete table that I wanted initially and I just really like the designs on the bottom so the chairs are supposed to come tomorrow or sometime later this week but I think I'm gonna change my mind about those chairs I'm not sure if I'm gonna show you guys but um, yeah I think I'm changing my mind about those so I'll see how it looks once they arrive but I feel like I'm gonna return them so just a heads up but yeah, this is the vibe. It is much lower than the table that we had before. It's probably like maybe four inches lower than the one that we had before. Um, but yeah, this is about as low as our actual dining table. But I'm so happy with this. I am so happy. Hubby has not seen it yet because he's not home. But... Yeah, absolutely love, love it. I think I'm gonna put a glass top on, on it eventually, so we could have some longevity. But so far, she's a beauty. All right, yeah, they are faced. I'm actually starving right now, so I'm gonna make myself. Actually, I'm gonna have some leftovers, like some chicken noodle soup. I haven't been feeling well for the past few weeks, and last night. I was working out and we did some ab exercises and I think I hurt my navel um, so I'm kind of nervous about it I'm, I'm really scared I'm scared but I'm trying not to worry too much so I'm gonna go easy today if I do go and work out today um, I think I want to take it easy today just to see if the pain subsides. I have to go to Target later today, so I'll probably take you guys along. I need to pick up some new um, linens for our bed and um, for my son's um, room. Like I told you guys, we have guests coming next week, so I wanna get some new bedding. And um, I think I'll be going to Ikea later this week as well, so I'll take you guys along with that. And I think I want to go to Sephora because I need a new concealer. Um, 
and a new facial cleanser so i'll be heading to sephora sometime this week uh today's tuesday like i said so possibly tomorrow i'll go to sephora um thursday i'll probably go to ikea and i'm getting my nails done on friday i'm so excited um because they're like super old i usually get my nails done every month i don't get my nails done every two weeks because i feel like that's just a waste um my nails don't like break or lift at all my nail tech is amazing so i usually just get them done once a month and that helps with um my budget <laughs> so yeah i also want to get some things from zara more things from zara um I've been looking for high knee, not high knee, knee high boots before the start of the season. And guys, I think I'm just going to retire knee high boots because my calves just don't allow it. And the only company that really like have boots that fit my calf are uh, Dolce Vita. And I'm not really liking um, their collection. My calf width is about... <laughs> 17 and a half inches I measured and I think the average uh, width of um, knee-high boots are like 15 inches or lower so that doesn't work for me <laughs> I need like space and even the ones that I do have which I only have two pairs of knee-high boots and all the other boots are like calf height like just below the calf um, so those so I think I'll just stick with that. Um, it's just a struggle. I really wanted a pair of silver or metallic um, knee-high boots, but the ones that I've seen and tried on just doesn't fit. I'll see. I'll keep searching. But for the most part, I'm buying stuff that is practical for me in my closet and um, just trying to get pieces that I could, you know, make an impact on my wardrobe, not just for the season, but long long term so yeah i just wanted to pop in to show my face i'm about to go eat i'll probably see you guys later uh, when i'm headed to target and my hair i'm still not really although it's not it's not styled right now it's just really just like comb forward there's no curl there's nothing to it i'm not sure about the color honestly i think i might just head back to black and whenever I want color, I think I'll just add like, I don't know, tapings or like just pieces that I can just add in and take out as I please, as opposed to like just putting a color on my hair and not really liking it. I don't know why. I usually like color on my hair, but that's when my hair was longer. My hair is short and I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's the tone of the hair color. I don't know. made some tea and this is mint tea I have been cutting back on my coffee intake probably have coffee like maybe once or twice a week I knew I wanted a round table for this space um, once we moved in and it took me a while to decide um, like I said previously uh, but I'm really happy with this one. I honestly thought it was going to be black But I'm happy that it's not it's like a black in Brown so it's like really dark. It kind of matches the floors, which I'm pretty okay with um, but I'm think I'm going to Take up the rug because the rug is not gonna work 
but what's very very exciting today is that i got some more furniture so we yesterday was super busy i went to cb2 pick up an order i actually got that um particular item using my points so i didn't have to spend any money which is a win love that for me <laughs> um but yeah so i got that and i think it was tuesday i ordered some chairs um from target and they came today they were actually supposed to come tomorrow but i'm happy they came today because now i can actually see how the chairs are going to look with the table now i did order <laughs> chairs prior to the ones that i ordered on tuesday so the other chairs i ordered i ordered them on tuesday and they're not here yet but i was this close to canceling the order but they had already shipped so i might have to wait until they actually get here or delivered um and then i'll have to return them i'm not happy about that because that's that's a hassle in itself but yeah let me just show you guys what's going on so those are the boxes i don't think i have to assemble them which i'm super happy about i just have to unbox them and put them up and that small little box right there is um from cd2 um which is going to go on the table all right so let me just open up one of these boxes I'm happy I found these because I feel like they 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 match my aesthetic better. I think the other ones um I really like as well. I have them in my cart forever, but I think what occurred me was I ordered four of those chairs and I honestly only need one of three for the space because we have like a bench against the window and we don't usually have a lot of visitors and when we have breakfast and stuff like that we usually eat over there as a family so I only wanted like three chairs because it's just three of us <laughs> so ooh, I'm already super in love uh, these chairs are more like modern, contemporary. Looking for something better. Uh huh. Uh huh. Is this what you want now? Or is it because you can't forget her? Can't give any 
gonna finish my tea. I am sweating. <laughs> gonna finish my tea. I'm gonna go break down those boxes and I have some work to do. And then later I will come back. Actually, I'm gonna work out and then I'm gonna go to Target. Or should I go to Target first and then come back, work out, and just relax? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to Target, um, which I have not yet. I've been saying that all week. <laughs> Um, I was going to go yesterday, but um, I didn't have time. We sold some of our old furniture yesterday, and I wanted to get back here in time because I went into D.C., and you guys saw I went to CB2, and I just wanted to get back in time so that the buyer can come get their stuff, <laughs> and they did. So, yeah, I'm going to go break down these boxes, get back to what I was doing, and I'll see you guys later when uh, we head to Target. All right, guys, so it's later in the day. I'm about to head out. I'm about to go get my son. He just called me. Um, he had a French class that he needed to take after school. Um, so he's ready to be picked up, so I'm going to go get him. And then I'm going to go to Target to pick up a few things and then get some lunch. I am craving Chick-fil-A, the Southwest salad. That is just so good. Um, yeah, and some waffle fries. So I think that's what I'm going to have today for lunch. I'm actually really hungry at this point because all I had was the tea that you guys saw me um, drank earlier. And yeah, this is the outfit been rambling uh you guys may have saw this in a previous vlog uh so this is the nike um sweatsuit and i'm wearing that with my gucci bag a hat because not really feeling the hair so it needs to be covered and um oh shoes are shoes are these if you can see and yeah so guys look oh the pompous is out. We're trying to get some fall decor going. I have not done any really fall decoration. I'm not really into fall decoration, but I'm getting into it. Just, just very light though. Very light. All right, guys. So, I always manage to find like the noisiest parts. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. All right, and the height? 
I just finished working out and I am uh, finishing up some kombucha because we're here for a healthy gut and this is the one I'm having today it's so good I like kombucha I like having a healthy gut so yeah so that's that you guys saw that we um, wrapped some gifts because tomorrow is my son's birthday and um, we're just doing some little preparations for him. He is the type of teen that doesn't really care for for much. So we're not doing a whole lot. He's gonna turn eight, <laughs> not 18. I'm jumping years ahead. He's going to be 15. Wow, I have a 15 year old as of tomorrow. I need to get some cupcakes, so he doesn't want anything. He doesn't want cake he doesn't even want cupcakes but i'm gonna get him cupcakes and um we're gonna go out to brunch uh tomorrow at one of our favorite restaurants in dc so that will be fun and um yeah that's what i have planned i don't think i i'm gonna add that in this vlog i may do like a separate vlog for that i don't know if i even vlog at all because i know he doesn't like that but yeah, let me just catch you guys up quickly. So yesterday, I got my nails done. This is how they turned out. I wanted something a little bit like fall-esque. And I'm not really a fall girl, though. I like, you know, seeing the transitions of the leaves and everything. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is as much as I am going to do. Um, I was thinking about doing like a full on like just brown color on the nails, but I like the negative space minimal look. So that's what I did. And then you guys saw that I went to Target. I think it was Thursday. Went to Target and I picked up some stuff um, to prepare for our guests. So yeah, I got the things that I needed and I got the hair color as you guys saw. And I did it last night. <laughs> and I love how it turned out. My hair looks so much better. This is what I had in mind when I said I was gonna color my hair. That like yellowy blonde situation, even though I toned it, it still looked yellow and I felt like it made me look older and that's not what we're going for. We're not going for older woman. So I added like uh, that dark, it's a medium rich brown actually with the Revlon. I love Revlon because it's affordable and it does what it needs to do. Um, I did a soft black and I just did that for my edges, which is what I usually do, you know, to cover up the grays. And then I put like the dark brown in between 
this this section here i did um leave some of the blonde in between in some spaces but then i did add majority of the medium rich brown um on my hair and i really really love how the color came out is just perfect 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 <laughs> um so yeah that's that i still need to curl it um I did have to like keep my scarf on while I was working out earlier today because I just didn't want to ruin the mold and I sweat a lot when I work out like dripping from my hair onto my neck it's, it's just a mess and I just really didn't want to mess my hair up so I wrapped it um also we went to Ikea I think Thursday night that was a random like visit um, my husband said he wanted to go and check some things out so i just tagged along but i also did want it to go um because i was looking at a credenza for our space the one that i shared um is the one that i had in mind and i'm glad i went to the store so i can see how um brown it was and that's like too too rng <laughs> for the space um we have dark wooden floors and that's just not gonna work um so I think I want something black there and then I want to do something mix um, for like my coffee station. So I need to get a credenza and like a coffee station storage situation. So those are the two pieces and I think the last two major pieces that I need for this floor. And then once those are in, then I will start putting up like wall art and all the things. <laughs> right? Um, so yeah, wall art is last on the agenda and I'm, I'm in no rush but I did pick some like decor florals from Target not Target from um, Ikea and I absolutely love how they turned out on the tables all right so the floral that you're seeing everything came together and I got that from Ikea so good perfect and just look at the view look at the view so this is how it looks on our formal dining table. Now, these are like faux hydrangeas, I think. And I absolutely love the tones. I love the color. It's like the perfect fall vibe for my space. And I got four of these. I don't remember how much they were, but I think... I want to get maybe one or two more I don't know I need to get it to like shaped shaped better I kind of want the leaves to like be on the bottom I also have some florals that I picked up from uh, home goods some time ago that I could probably play around and see how that looks with these but I just stuffed the vase, but I, I don't think I did a good job stuffing it because these are not staying in place. But you guys get the gist of it. I really, really like the colors. So I think I may head back to Ikea later today and get me like two more. And since we're talking fall arrangement, I got these florals from Walmart and I really like how they look. I kind of start like spreading out the florals to give it a more luxe look. Cause you know sometimes when you buy florals, um, they come like all compact and you waiting for it to open up and it doesn't. I just go ahead and open them up now because it just looks a lot better that way to me. And then I added some pines and some potpourri in our little tray here and that is my fall decor guys yeah so that is my fall decor situation i'm not a big fall decor person um i'm more of a christmas decor so we'll see how i do for christmas i'm not even in the mood to like do the seasonal decorations i just want to have my own set the way i want it and probably switch out the florals every season to like you know complement the season we are at the end of the vlog i really hope that you enjoy this don't forget to like comment share and subscribe because i would like to have you back stay beautiful and i'll see you guys in the next one mm -hmm.